Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie. Welcome! So today, sparring a bare face because we are about to jump in the shower and try some Curlsmith products for the first time. I'm already kind of feeling like good vibes from this brand just based off of what their packaging says and everything. So I kind of have high hopes and I'm really excited to dig in. I'm gonna do a full in-depth like wash and go tutorial plus like an in-depth review as usual. We're gonna get into those ingredients and really figure out if these products are actually healthy for curly hair as well. Before we head over to the shower to get started, please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Y'all know it really helps your girl out and also you'll be notified every single time a new video drops so you won't miss anything ever again. And now that that's out of the way, let's head over to the shower to get started. All right, welcome to my shower. So right now in my hair, I have the Olaplex number three at home treatment. My hair really needed it. So I'm just gonna let this sit in my hair, do its thing while we talk about these Curlsmith products. So the products that I'm gonna be digging into today are the products from the Curlsmith Transitioning Kit. So the kit comes with four products. A curl quenching conditioning wash, the double cream deep quencher, which is a deep conditioner, and then two stylers. The Hold Me Softly Style Balm, which is like a styling cream, and the In Shower Style Fixer, which is a styling gel. So honestly, I'm already loving the whole vibes of this brand. I especially love the fact that they did a co-wash instead of a shampoo. In fact, like on the side of the kit, it has all of these transitioning rules and one of their rules, which is one that y'all know I swear by, is to stop using shampoo. And then all of the other rest of the rules, if you notice and watch all my videos, you'll see that those are actually my curly girl rules that I stick by. So obviously, I'm fully natural. I'm not transitioning right now, but these are still rules that I stick by in order to keep my curly hair nice and healthy. So the fact that I saw that all of their curly girl rules were the same rules that I use on my curls, I was kind of like, wow, this is, this is awesome. I also love the fact that their products all say that they don't contain sulfates, parabens, silicones, mineral oils, Folatates, I think it's called, and DEA, which is awesome. So that means that they're invested in ensuring that the ingredients in these products are actually curly girl safe. The big one for me is that they don't have silicones. Y'all know I don't mess with silicones. And so I'm really extra happy to see that these products don't include silicones at all. Their packaging also includes like this cute little promise. So it says all our products are naturally curl friendly and gentle enough for daily use. Blended carefully in small batches, strictly supervised by our master curlsmith. So this basically just translates to me that this company, this brand is like just fully invested in ensuring that they're giving us the top notch quality products. And I love that. So just off the bat, I'm feeling really good about these curlsmith products. I kind of have high hopes. Um, so yeah, let's go on and dig in. So first I'm gonna start by cleansing with a conditioning wash. I'm gonna rinse out the Olaplex treatment out of my hair and then apply the conditioning wash in sections and just kind of comb it through with my fingers. Wow, so off the bat, I'm noticing how creamy this cleansing conditioner is. It is so nice. Also, it smells amazing. It just smells really sweet, like your sweet kind of hair products, like almost like a fruity kind of sweet smell but it's not like overpowering either. I love how it smells, it's nice. Seriously, this is so creamy and moisturizing. If you have dry hair, this is definitely so bomb. I feel like I won't even need a conditioner after I wash this out, you know? I mean, I'm still gonna use one, but. I really didn't even use that much product, but after like combing it all through, like look at how rich this product is it's just like oh, i can't even explain how good this feels you guys honestly depending on how this washes out and how cleansed my curls feels this has potential to be like a new all-time favorite co-wash like it's that good i just can't get over how creamy this is y'all that is the one word that i can use to best describe this co-wash all right, so here is how we're looking right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out so we can really see how cleansed my curls feel after. All right, so honestly, my curls feel really clean. I was a little bit worried that it was gonna be almost like too creamy and too moisturizing to actually be cleansing, but my curls feel really clean. It doesn't feel like there's any buildup on there at all. Like honestly, is this about to be my new favorite co-wash? I think so. All right, so now let's get into this deep conditioner. I am gonna apply it the same way I did the co-wash, just in sections. Oh, 
all these products smell the same. They're so good. I love this smell. It's like not too perfumey. You know, some brands kind of like overdo it with the perfumey. This is just nice. This is like a smell that I would want to smell in my house. <sighs> I really like the fragrance. So just a quick close up of the consistency of this deep conditioner. She's thick. She is nice and thick and that's kind of what I like to see in a deep conditioner. Um, my hair has been especially dry now during winter and stuff. So to see this thickness, I'm kind of happy. Let's see how it applies to my curls. Oh my God, I am so impressed. So as soon as the product kind of starts getting combed through your curls, it like melts. It doesn't feel like a thick, you know, kind of product that is just kind of sitting in your curls. It's like literally melting into my hair strands. Like, look at that. Now this product has all the slip. All the slip. This feels so good. My curls are looking real happy right now. This just feels so good and my curls feel like they're getting like a really great amount of moisture. Okay, so the back of the bottle says for a quick moisture boost, leave on for 10 to 15 minutes before rinsing and for a deep moisturizing treatment, leave on for 30 minutes and then rinse. I got time to leave this on for 30 minutes today so I'm actually just gonna do like the quick moisture boost, leave it on for 10, 15 minutes and then I'll rinse it out and be back for styling. Y'all, I am really, excited i have a feeling that my curls are gonna come out boom today i'm i'm really excited i'll be back <laughs> all right so here are how the curls are looking they feel super soft super moisturized and i'm honestly just a little bit shook at these products because they feel so freaking good all right, so let's move on to styling. So I'm gonna be using the styling cream first and then the gel on top and basically what i'm gonna do is just section my hair out put in the styling cream and then kind of go over it with my Denman brush and then use my fingers to apply the gel on top. This gel specifically says on the back that it's meant to be used on soaking wet hair. So I'm ensuring that my hair is soaking wet. Y'all know that's already how I like to apply my wash and go products anyway, but I'm just like making sure that it's extra soaking wet. So I'm noticing that when I'm using the Denman brush with the styling cream, the styling cream kind of gets a little bit foamy. I'm not sure what that's all about, but just an observation. All right, so here are how the curls are looking right now. Super defined. I think most of the foaminess, like the white foaminess from the styling cream is kind of gone. It didn't really feel like too thick, so it's something that I would think would just completely vanish once your hair is dry, but we're gonna have to really wait and see how this actually fully dries. Honestly though, right now, my curls feel so good. Still having pretty high hopes for this product. I actually don't even see very much frizz in my curls either, which is always a really good sign. I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse my hair off camera and then meet you guys back in the studio for the final results. Ta-da! Here we are. So my hair is now fully dry, 100%, and this is how we're looking. So the first thing I'm noticing is that we have a lot of volume, which I love, and I've also really noticed like how good my curls feel. They feel super soft and just like moisturized without feeling greasy, like they don't feel weighed down at all. My hair feels just so like airy and bouncy, and I think that's what's causing us to get all of this volume. Now I was hoping for a little bit of additional shine. I mean, we have some shine, but I was hoping for a little bit more. So in terms of the gel, it did say it was like a level 10 extreme hold. And I don't, I honestly don't feel like it gave me that level of a hold. I mean, we've got definition here, but just judging by how soft my hair feels, which is great. I'm also not sure like how long this is gonna last. Like I might actually have to reapply in a couple of days. There is also a little bit of frizz. I don't know if you guys can see this back here, but just like towards my roots, there's a little bit more frizz and I'm not sure if that was caused by the products or the Denman brush because sometimes the Denman brush can cause my roots to get real poofy and real frizzy. 
Um, I had hoped that because the hold on this gel was supposed to be extreme hold, that it kind of would have caught all of that and kept it, you know, at bay. I definitely wouldn't, I personally wouldn't call this extreme hold. Out of a rate of 10, I would say, because it still gave me some great definition, I would say maybe more like a 7 or a 6. I think I would have to say that the gel is probably my least favorite product out of this whole entire kit that we have here. I forgot to show you guys the actual consistency of the gel. So here it is. If I can get this to focus. So there you can see it's kind of it's like on the thicker side and it's not it's not very jelly like how I'm kind of accustomed to so like the curl maker and kinky curly are very like jelly like this one is a little bit thick and then it's not very jelly like and I think that's the reason why my curls haven't gotten that like intense of a hold so yeah the gel I don't think is my favorite but I do have to say that the co-wash and the deep conditioner so bomb I think that is really what has my curls so happy and so moisturized and stuff so so good honestly I think this has officially become my new favorite co-wash and I just love the fact that like everything that this brand stands for has to do with providing healthy ingredients in order to have healthy curls. So yeah, I definitely 10 out of 10 recommend the co-wash and the deep conditioner. The balm was neither here nor there for me. Like I showed you guys, it was doing that weird like foaming thing when I was using it with the Demon brush. Um, so I think actually for both of the styling products, the styling cream and the gel, I'm going to go ahead and try them again but without the Denman brush and see if that makes any kind of difference in terms of the frizz and the level of hold. Because it's such a good brand that's focused on healthy ingredients for healthy curls, I'm definitely willing to continue trying it in different ways, so different techniques, in order to see if I can make this work for my curls just because I'm so, so happy with the brand itself and like what it stands for. So if you're interested in seeing how I use these products in the future, make sure you go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I usually include little snippets here and there in my captions and my photos as well on my stories. I also always follow up on Instagram showing you guys like how my hair continues to look throughout day two, three, four, etc. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing that, Instagram is the place. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed this please go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up and also if you're not subscribed to my channel please just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and while you're doing that two more videos for you to check out right here i'll catch you in the next one bye